it's, it's not really related to this exact story, but while we're on the topic of Shannon Sharp, is he the, is he the top of the most impactful, most important, most prevalent personality in our little world? It, 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 he's, he's on the one hand of people you're counting off if he's not at the top. He, he's in the conversation for sure, especially when you have, I think the thing he has really working in his favor is you have the direct comparison of the ratings at Fox when he was on Fox and the ratings at ESPN when he moved to ESPN. And that is like, he is an established draw. Like he left Fox in undisputed ceased to exist after a year and he's at ESPN and first take is as strong as it's ever been. Um, I think I would put Stephen A. Smith ahead of him um, mainly because I, I do think there's something with Shannon Sharp as a former NFL player that almost works against him because I think to the average sports fan, they might just think of Shannon Sharp as player X who turned into a sports media personality and they don't necessarily know him from Ryan Clark, from Charles Barkley. Um, th those are some pretty extreme comparisons, but like, I think like, uh, there are there are average sports fans who just view him as next player when people like you and I who who watch this stuff every day um we know he's obviously so much more than that um and, I mean even like first take keeps him on for his NBA coverage but he's on the list I, I think it's probably Stephen A Smith Pat McAfee and him yeah. like are, are the top three yeah I, I I just I almost you know measure it in a way by the when you talk to people in your life who don't know anything about this, who do they know? And when I brought, like when I got this job and was telling some like extended family about it, mm -hmm. they yeah, mentioned that's, Stephen that's a. always fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. They mentioned Stephen A. Smith and then Shannon came up next. Mm -hmm. And yes, the ratings and the viewership for his network shows are, are one thing, but nightcap has been around for a year and it's one of the biggest shows on YouTube already. Like there's this website, Social Blade, where you can look at YouTube metrics and it's all estimated. It's all proprietary information. But this website shows that it is estimated that they make as much as $1.6 million off of this show in, in, in kind of projecting out a year from now, but it continues to grow. So I would imagine that's even higher. They, they, they get millions of views a day on this, on this thing. It's, they go live for like two, three hours, like four times a week. He's just so front and center. I think that we're going to be, you know, it's, it's 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 safe to say we're going to be talking plenty more about Shannon Sharp. But I think, again, this this might only kind of propel him in terms of relating to younger people and kind of the the personality driven stuff that he's doing outside of FS1 and ESPN.